and A to Z of the Holy Land, from Arab to Zion, with Ed Kessler, founder director of the Wolf Institute. What term do you apply to a strip of land along the Mediterranean that became the birthplace of the Hebrew Bible? It lies in an extraordinary location, offering the only viable land route between Asia and Africa. To the west lies the Mediterranean Sea, to the east a mountainous, virtually impassable stony desert. Whoever controlled that strip of land between Mesopotamia to the north and Egypt to the south could develop and then defend a vital trade route. Great empires rose and fell, vying for mastery of this land. But I repeat my question, what should we call it? Israel? Palestine? Promised land? Occupied land? Mark Twain suggested you pays your money and you takes your choice. And his answer has the benefit of simplicity, but it obscures a complex reality. When even choosing a title is controversial, you can be sure that this series of podcasts will be. I followed Christian convention, plumping for Holy Land, or Terra Sancta, as first used in the 13th century, to designate this piece of real estate, which is only about the size of Wales. Countless believers have, over many generations, been convinced of the holiness of their sites in this land. Indeed, the one shared characteristic of these conflicting parties is this fervent belief in the holiness of those sites, the events which have taken place there and the promises that have been given. Where they diverge is in their interpretations of what is essentially the same heritage. This series will explore the real consequences of holding particular places as well as people and times to be holy. But there's another problem. For the three Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, each of which teaches universalism, the claim that a particular place is of special religious significance is open to accusations of idolatry. Indeed, this was the criticism against Roman Catholic and Orthodox traditions often made by Protestants. The challenge for you, the listener, is to question all your assumptions about the Holy Land, even assumptions held by those who might share your beliefs. This is a complex and contentious subject. So hold on to your hats, your yarmulkes, your crosses, your baptismal fonts. The call to prayer from the Al-Aqsa Mosque.